Okay, before I start this video, I just want to make it clear, I did not fly this thing in order to see the batteries run dead mid-flight. <laughs> but, uh, what I did do is I took off, landed, which you'll see later, and, uh, did a pretty high altitude flight. And I gotta tell you that when you're up really high, uh, it runs the battery right down. You know, you're up there fighting the wind. I'm sure the, uh, there's a couple of cents there. Um... I'm sure that the gyro is having to work overtime because the wind is really blowing up there. I mean, you barely feel any wind on the ground, and surely there's high winds when you get up higher. Than that. It's just how it is. But uh, I get up real high here. I'm doing my best to keep it overhead. You can see I'm kind of flying back and forth. I never meant to really fly anywhere, but just trying to keep it into the wind is uh, quite a, quite a job. Uh, also, I found it a lot easier to descend going in a direction rather than just going straight down. When you go straight down, it doesn't seem to really want to come down, and it's the direction that it flies is really unpredictable. So if you press down and then go in a direction, it descends rather fast and uh, also gives you a bit more control rather than going down in e either which direction that the craft decides to go on its own. But uh, I gotta say, these uh, propels are really easy to fly. There's nothing hard about it. If you've flown a little small toy helicopter, you're not going to have a problem flying a propel. It's actually easier. But, with that being said, the wind is a factor. I've never got my little toy remote control helicopter remotely high into the air. Uh, the wind would just take that thing away as fast as you, you could blink an eye. Right now, uh, I'm attempting to land it, and here's a tip. If you have one of these, and you're going to land, you know, you, you see that you're jerking all over the place, don't have it on 100% power. Uh, dial your remote down to 40, and it makes it way easier to, to fly these puppies. I'm going to skip this part, because I zipped around and back and forth. All right. Now I, was, I just landed it and basically I just took right back off. I wanted to see how far horizontally I could go uh, within my line of sight w before I started losing controls or having a problem controlling it. I didn't quite make it across the street this flight but I, I fly back and it's literally over that greenhouse on the right so it went pretty far down the street. It's got a great range on, on the propel. about here was about as far as I was prepared to go. I think it would have went further, but I just didn't want to test that here. exactly how fast that it goes. I'm guessing around 20 miles an hour. I doubt it would be 30. Okay, right about here I saw that I was having a big problem trying to gain altitude, and at this point it took over and just descended on its own. Which is really a cool feature. Instead of just the batteries going dead and it just dropping out of the sky with no power, it's great that it actually sees that it's running on low power and descends to the ground.
right here I see it over the fence and I make an attempt to get it to fly but as you see it doesn't have enough power to get off the ground so I had to go around and come to the front yard well thanks for watching and uh, I hope this video is useful to you this is a really neat toy if you got an opportunity to fly one I'd do it it's, it's great fun it's really easy just be careful have a great day youtubers